We're back, Bear Rose Broadcasting, Norm West Exposing, Radio, Conceptional Analogy. There's not a subject going on right now that doesn't talk of one subject, this planet. Sneaky. Every subject, <clears throat> every example, you can't change the subject. There is one subject. Sneaky. Alongside another subject. Living. That isn't. Is living sneaky? Is it? How much sneaking do the forest animals do in a day's living? How much? Percent. Do they only do it for defense? Do they only do it for prey? When do they sneak? When they pray, do they ever not sneak? Does stampede sneak? Does it sneak to position? Well, I mentioned, I, I picture this thing sneaking up and causing stampede and then attacking it. Well, I also have seen it walking right around and nothing moved. For some reason, they didn't consider themselves getting stalked. The same thing when they, they're they getting stalked, they know it, is around and not, it's not stalking them, they know that too. Astounding. You say you want the lion to lay down next to the lamb, when the lion's not stalking the lamb, it will not eat that lamb. We should always eat the lamb. No, it won't. It sure won't. It won't. It won't kill it for later. Maybe a leopard will. For a certain degree. Then the leopard won't even eat it anymore. Can a leopard get its fill in the tree? <laughs> well, you wonder. <laughs> I won't argue that. Well, there's a time a leopard can get its fill in the tree and lay up there and sleep. <laughs> Nothing else. And the prey will walk underneath the tree. <laughs> and the leopard will wake up and go, oh, brother, never mind. Go back to sleep. <laughs> With a tree full of prey. <laughs> oh, brother. A leopard is something else, you ask me. I have a cat that I call a 900-pound leopard. He's a wonderful black kitty. Mm -hmm. I had him neutered like that. didn't slow him down much. <laughs> no. I'm glad I did. I wouldn't, he wouldn't speak to me at all by now, I'm sure. But now he purrs and he's all over me. I hold him priceless. He's an outside kitty in the forest and that's where he likes it. He, he loves to play with his senses under demand. And he does. He plays very well with his senses. And a lot of them are very relaxed. Oh, he's very relaxed. And the greatest threat you can imagine. He can get spooky sometimes over nothing. He can get spooky and scratch you for nothing. He sure can. He's feline. He can misunderstand and wham you a good one. <laughs> he sure can. And go, oh, then I, I'm sorry. <laughs> yep, and you're laying there with a big scratch. He's going, prr, prr. <laughs> yep. He's a nice kitty. He is. You just have to understand him and then you don't arouse that in him. Like any, why do you think a guy can get around certain big cats? Because they understand them. And they don't arouse that kitty in them. They can easily arouse the kitty in those big cats and they would get them. I'd go later, oh, phooey, he was feeding me yesterday. Now who's going to feed me? <laughs> you think they don't have that wit? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. They have the wit not to eat that man. Oh, you, you can overplay your hand and all that stuff. The guy used the same thing with the grizzlies. Actually, you use it with your parents. You use it with your boss. Same wit. The man will fire you, lie about you and fire you. You use it when you get on the bus. The police said these guys will lie about you and never say anything they want about you. 
Nothing you can do about it. Your, their word will be taken over yours every time. Was he right? He said, you got to con them when you get on this bus, boy. They're idiots, and they will say anything they want, and there's nothing you can do. You think the police officer was right? He reminded me of so many situations, not only the bus, lots of places. I went to that officer, I found him later, and I said, you know what? You talked up to me and my lights turn on for lots of places, sir. You just made my Christmas. What he said. He'd bust you quicker and shoot you straight in your eyes. Sure would. Bust you, send you to prison and shoot you right between the eyes. Same guy. Wonderful man. Made a big difference in my life. Was a nice man. Told me to go and get out of here and get away from these people. Go on. I look at that, I just, to the day, had I responded different, I'd have been treated entirely different, gotten a different lecture. And it might take me years to learn that lesson that I learned. Interesting, huh? I always remark to it. Astounding experience. Portland Bureau Police. Nostrils going, wah, 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 wah. Because <laughs> they said I was a threat. I wasn't a threat. And as soon as the officer saw me, he knew I wasn't a threat. They'll read you in a hurry. And he knew there was no threat about me, and that lady knew it too. She's brutal to do that. To me, she should have got her ass fired. Because she didn't care what happened to me. She'd have loved to see me murdered right there on the scene. That's how much of a rage she was in. That's what I was telling her. Why are you employed at work driving a bus in that kind of rage? Get off my bus. I told her, Get off your bus. I didn't do anything. I told you you're in too much of a rage to drive this bus. And to me, when bus companies let those people walk around in that kind of rage driving their bus, and I read another one that did worse to me, and I tolerated it. And I'll tell you, it really plays with your psyche, and I'm damaged to the day. Any attorney wants to help me, I can use it. I'll get this uploaded.